Uh, thanks very much. Um, hi there. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure to, to be here. Um, so my name is uh, Karen Power, and I'm a composer, um, uh, educator, and improviser. Um, a little bit like my predecessor, I feel slightly out of, out of water um, in that my practice isn't uh, perhaps directly related um, to climate change issues. Um, however, it does um, and is firmly rooted in uh, the notion um, of listening to, being inspired by, um, and the strong belief in the power of hearing uh, our world. So that's really um, what I wanted to sort of bring up tonight. Um, I suppose the first thing to acknowledge is that um, sound is obviously everywhere. Um, it's in every action we do, it's with us all of the time. Whether or not we choose to listen to sound is another, um, is another issue. Um, however, on that back, there really is no such thing as a fully silent, natural environment. Uh, we can make a fully quiet environment, but there's no such thing as a natural one. Um, once you acknowledge this, then the way you choose to listen to everything um, can alter. Once you acknowledge that there really is no way for you to fully close your ears to sound, um, then it begins to make you think about what you're listening to, why you're listening to it, uh, what you choose not to listen to, um, and what makes you sort of filter things out, filter out noise, for example. So let's take this room. Um, and please uh, do come with me on this one because I'm kind of going out on a limb here. Um, but what I'd like us all to do is, uh, when I count down from three, I'm gonna ask us to close our eyes. Um, and what I want you to do is to really focus on listening, just for like 30 seconds, okay? Um, but what I want you to do is to think about how you're listening, um, think about the sounds that you're hearing in the room, uh, think about your location in relation to those sounds. So where you are, where the sounds are to you, are they internal sounds, are you hearing your own breathing? Um, are they external, are you hearing the person next to you? Are you hearing the um, uh, heating system in the venue? Um, all of these things. Um, I just uh, so, on the count of three, and I'll do it too. Uh, three, two, one. Everybody close their eyes, please. Open your ears and just listen. Let's open our eyes. So um, I don't have time this evening um, for us to go through what it is you've listened to. If I was doing this with very young children, that would be the next stage. Um, but I can guarantee that not that every single person in this room uh, heard something slightly different. Um, one of the strengths about acknowledging uh, hearing and, and the way we listen is that obviously we all have uh, two ears and we all receive um, sound differently. Um, we all carry our own contexts to particular sounds uh, differently and in a unique way. And for me, that's one of the, the most interesting um, things uh, about working with sound. Um, so just moving on from that, um, from this room out into the world and out into environments. Um, so as a composer, I spend a lot of my time traveling the world um, and basically listening to environments. Um, I let those environments influence my work um, in a huge, huge variety of ways, um, far too great to get into any detail in um, here. 
Um, but what I have done is I've put together a few slides um, and uh, an extract from a piece. Um, and we're just going to go through that. Um, in each slide, there's a sort of particular statement about what I feel the power of listening uh, can achieve, can unearth, um, and can maybe make us uh, contemplate, which is why I present it to you here. Um, it's just in the hope that maybe um, something, uh, no more than Emily before, um, something is triggered, um, maybe something about a place um, it becomes uh, reignited within you, um, and you begin to appreciate um, all of those environments that surround us every day. Obviously, the more you appreciate something, the less likely you are to go and destroy it. Um, so here we go.
So obviously as an artist, um, I've chosen to let such sounds um, from the environment infiltrate my practice and what I do. Um, but one of the most, one of the amazing things about these kinds of environments and these kinds of sounds is that they're, they're open to us all. Um, there's nothing, there's no sort of social class system, there's no, um, there's no restriction about who can listen, who can't, there's no right way to listen, there's no wrong way to listen. It's not subject on your education, it's not subject on you understanding um, music or um, the science of uh, nature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and really, this very, very brief presentation um, was just an attempt to sort of uh, hopefully make people consider sound um, and consider it as um, the huge strength um, that it could be in maybe uh, making some kind of a change. So, thank you very much. <laughs>